Shop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can quickly use custom shapes to create some interesting texture designs in Photoshop and they can be then saved as PSD files. Now first thing to do, just going to go to the custom shape tool and I'm going to use pixels option, I'm going to use white, I've got a black background and the shapes I'm using are from graphic extras, they're X letter designs so basically just select one of those and what you can do then is just drag them there to create the design. Now the key thing with the displacements or texture designs is that you avoid the seams. I mean you can obviously create ones that with can go over the seams but then you'll get sort of disjointed sort of texture designs which perhaps is not what you want. So now just add those. Now you can of course add them in a variety of greys and I'm just going to go and select a different grey there and then just drag that there. Now one thing you can of course do, you don't have to apply the same displacement, the same X custom shape design, you can actually modify that and just add, and also you can overlap them of course as well, you don't have to. Now this design is actually 400 by 400, you can go here to the image and image size, you can see 400 by 400. Now what I normally do is just go to filter, other and offset and then go for minus 200 and 200 wrap around option so what that means is you get the design sort of spread out and you can actually then just create maybe more interesting textures so you can actually now continue with adding those things change that again and then just go there and just add more x designs and like custom shapes the one thing about custom shapes is that they can be any size they're vector designs so they can be sort of 3000 by 3000 or just 10 by 10 pixels now just add that again just multiple times and you can really create a very complex texture design which of course maybe make it more careful and just go through it just work out what you actually want from the start but i'm just adding a few designs here just to show the general idea and then of course you can go here to offset again so you can just offset it a bit by again 200 or minus 200 and then just change that back to white and select that one and so on so on right once you've actually got your design and you're happy with that what you can do then is go to file and save as and i'm just going to save it not to there but just to my desktop I'm just going to save it as 1.psd. Right. Now, I'm just going to quickly create something for it to actually work on. So I'm just going to quickly go to new. Quite slow, unfortunately, this thing. <laughs> it does take a bit of time for some reason to come up. So I'm just going to select that, create. Now, just quickly go to, just quite very, very quick design there. And now, filter and distort and displace or of course you could go to use the filter gallery in glass which maybe is a better option actually filter gallery and I'm just going to go to the glass one you've got a texture there just select low texture select the one dot PSD and then you've got the design there and you can actually see obviously smoothness is quite high up there scaling and again like I say you can create with these custom shapes create any size so you can create like a 3000 by 3000 because one issue with this is it only goes up to 200 or 50 so you can do that range there so now modify that and apply it click OK and there you've got the design now you can apply it multiple times you don't have to apply it just once filter filter gallery and again modify that modify that and apply and that's it quick way of creating some very interesting designs displacements glass effects etc texture texturizer as well there's a number of filters that use displacement files in Photoshop and of course you can use the PSD files or convert it maybe to PNG files in tools like Affinity Photo and many more. Hope you found this of interest please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel and also please check out the www.graphicextras.com website for hundreds of tutorials on custom shapes etc and plus many free resources and also paid ones as well. Hope you found this interest. Thank you much.